And we begin this half hour with a Southgate neighborhood in shock tonight. A man behind bars accused of killing his wife. Thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Brian Abel and I'm Glenda Lewis. Police say the woman was killed at her home on Walter Street. That's where Sarah Grimmer joins us with the latest in this investigation. Sarah. Neighbors in this community tell me that this is a quiet street. Just across the road is Gabriel Richard High School. The neighbors here say they know each other well. They're tight knit, but they rarely saw the couple that lived inside of this home. Quite shocking, I guess, is the word to uh, use. David Konsantakis lives just down the street from the house where Southgate police spent Monday night looking for a 42 year old missing woman last seen on Saturday. Came home from work and saw the uh, crime scene tape around the uh, house and basically I was surprised as anyone. They were able to speak to a person of interest who ended up being the husband at the time and uh, that led our investigation. During their investigation, the 44 year old husband confessed to killing his wife in this home during a domestic struggle. Police say he then attempted to cover up the murder by moving her body to another location in Washtenaw County. Sad all the way around. We have been seeing an uptick with the domestic violence as well as uh, violent crime, unfortunately. That just seems to be the trend in Michigan as well as other places in the country. According to a 2021 report out of the United Nations, domestic violence cases increased by 25% to 33% globally during the pandemic. Southgate police say they've seen the rise firsthand and they have people coming to their department all the time looking for help from domestic violence. They want you to know they are able to offer that help. If you see anybody that you think is in harm's way, uh, do what you can to help. If you can, you might save someone's life. The Southgate Police Department tells me that this case is still under investigation, but they do expect charges to be filed soon. Reporting in Southgate, Sarah Grimmer, 7 Action News.